In the first part of this series, we covered the similarities between notability and good notes. And in this second part, we'll be going through seven ways good notes is better than notability in 2022. For those of you wondering, our team's go to note taking app for personal and internal notes is Noteful. We get asked this question a lot, so we thought to get it out of the way before we get started. Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to maximizing your time and energy during your digital transformation. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. When deciding between two similar apps, cost is most likely the most important factor. GoodNotes is a one-time universal purchase for $7.99, while Notability requires a yearly subscription, which may deter many users. There's a free demo version of both apps to help you decide which app is best for you. Considering that most other note-taking apps are a one-time purchase, it's hard to see the value in paying a subscription for Notability. Though it is a decent app, it's not amazing enough to justify that price, especially for new users. Old users might not like the pains of moving thousands of notes to a new app, but even that's not enough considering Notability did try to stab us in the back with a forced subscription. So, most have settled for no updates because their apps work without it. Those of us that took Notability's betrayal to heart stopped using the app altogether. Our team, for example, moved to Noteful. If you're just getting started with digital note-taking, it's probably best to avoid paying for a subscription right off the bat. The same goes for digitally transforming educational institutions. While Notability is free, for K-12 institutions, it's not a good choice because it requires a subscription after students graduate. School admins must choose apps and software that your students can afford on their own once they've graduated. In both apps, the Lasso tool can make edits to rotate, resize, copy, delete, and even change the color of your notes. It can also drag and drop items between apps. In Notability, you can also duplicate as well as change the pen thickness and type for your notes, which is something you can't do in GoodNotes. A good lasso tool for a note-taking app must at least pick everything on the page. Notability finally added that to the application recently. Couldn't be happier. However, the lasso tool in GoodNotes is still better because it can selectively pick your handwriting, text boxes, images, and comments, or any combination you want. It can also take screenshots for your selections that you can export out of the application. The only limitation for the lasso tool in GoodNotes is that it doesn't move selections across the pages in your notebook. The workaround for that is painful. Notability, on the other hand, has no trouble moving items across your pages. Notability Plus has a collection of stickers that are freely available in GoodNotes. Obviously, GoodNotes library isn't as comprehensive as Notability's. But stickers are not worth a subscription, which is what Notability is trying to sell to its users. Both apps allow you to make your own stickers, so it doesn't matter if one has a larger sticker collection. Even though you can pick everything on a page, you're still limited to creating stickers only from your handwritten items in Notability. In GoodNotes, you can make stickers from text images, handwriting, or any combination you like because its lasso tool can selectively pick those things off your page. You can insert links in GoodNotes 
which will be underlined and appear dimmer than your surrounding text. When you tap on a link, you can choose to open or edit it. In Notability, you can import web clips that behave like images. And this makes them difficult to open. You can also just copy and paste the links into your notes, which is better than web clips, but it's not so good. Strangely, despite Notability adding this feature first, GoodNotes handles web links better. In both apps, selecting multiple pages lets you copy, rearrange, or delete them. Notability also lets you duplicate, save a bookmark, or clear all the notes on the pages you select. GoodNotes has proper page rotation that rotates your ink. Notability can only rotate PDFs, not page templates. And annotations do not rotate along with the pages. Those restrictions are infuriating. GoodNotes has an outline feature, which Notability does not. An outline is a table of contents that help you navigate lengthy documents. The app can display either the default contents page for your document or the custom one. With both apps, you can open multiple copies of the same notebook at once using multiple instances. They also both support in-app multitasking, although in different ways. The notes which are in Notability divides your screen either vertically or horizontally. You can only have a maximum of two notebooks open at once in the same instance. GoodNotes, on the other hand, has tabs that can open as many documents as you like. So at any given time, GoodNotes can open more documents than Notability. GoodNotes allows for two-way collaboration where Notability only shares read-only notes. Once you've shared your link, your collaborators will be able to see the most up-to-date version of your notes in GoodNotes. GoodNotes alerts you when others make changes to the notes you're sharing. For further discussion, you can comment on shared documents. When you share a link to your notes in Notability, even people who don't have the app can view them in any web browser. However, they can't interact with them in any way except download them. The app also has a restriction that prevents you from sharing files larger than 100 megabytes, which will probably be most of your notes if you include a lot of images in your notes. That brings us to the end of this video. To avoid missing out on the remaining parts of the series, be sure to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next video.